My name is Felix. I'm a Danish TV host and car fanatic. I've been invited here to California to drive the new Vision AVTR. It's right in there in the hangar, and you're invited to come along to the future. This must be the control unit. I have a thousand questions now. So maybe it's time to bring in the designers. Well, I'm here with uh, Gordon Wagner, Chief Head of Design at Daimler. Was that correct? Chief Design Officer. That was almost correct. <laughs> Chief Design Officer. But the most important thing is that, Gordon, this car is something you authorized. What's the vision behind this car? What's it supposed to be? We wanted to create a vehicle that is not alien to its environment, that's almost a part of the ecosystem of the environment. And um, we actually didn't want to create a vehicle. It should be almost something like a living organism. Mm -hmm. I think you succeeded in that because it doesn't really feel like a car anymore. Except no, it has not. four wheels. Actually, it can crap sideways. Really? Yeah. Like Why? 30 degrees sideways. Because we didn't want to have conventional wheels. These wheels, they look more like an animal paw, like soft and, uh, you know, gentle. When you look at this car, what is it that you see as a designer? First of all, I think it looks very futuristic, thanks to that um, super futuristic proportion. We wanted to create something that is very efficient looking, something that is uh, almost like bio-design in harmony with nature. So it goes very gentle through the wind. From the materials, there's a lot of recycled materials. Um, we have the dynamic car, which is fully recycled. We have this uh, Karoon wood, which is um, fast-growing rattan are very sustainable. We have all these fabrics, this ocean waste plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, so from the material side, yeah, this is completely um, sustainable. And of course, our vision is the 100% sustainable car, and that car should embody this. Should we sit inside? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. You want to go on the yeah, other yeah, side? Yeah, sure. So actually, the first moment is that wake-up moment uh, when you start enter the car and the car wakes up. So um, you see all these light strips, they, they come alive and then uh, you start that merge moment and we connect with this um, merge device here. Then of course, you can steer the car forward, backward, left and right. And then when you go on a crab sideways, you tilt that. So there's a sensor in there as well? Yeah. And actually, if you see it, it goes up and down like the car is breathing. And then it boots up and you see the screen. And now we are actually flying through the world of Pandora. And this is so cool about this project as um, we are stepping even out of the car industry and go into a different industry or merge it with a different industry. In this case, um, entertainment, one of the biggest entertainment companies. And for me, I see Mercedes not really as a car brand. I see it as a leading luxury brand. In fact, we want to make it the most loved luxury brand. And projects like that with corporations from other fields bring us so much more inspiration that we can elevate what we do to a different level. Can we drive? Let's go and drive. Let's take it out for a spin. And you haven't driven it before. It's no. your first time as well. <laughs> well let's, let's move it slightly forward, okay? okay? We are rolling. Yeah, but steering wheels are so last year. So we can try crabbing mode a little bit. Whoa! So now the cool thing is, the co-driver can take over. So you have it, just try it. <laughs> it is so cool. So, Vera. You were the head designer, lead designer on the user experience of the car, right? Yes, correct. I'm the director of advanced user experience design. Exactly. That's you. 
So when I saw it, at, you know, the first time I saw it, and I went over to it, and I had this feeling that it was trying to communicate with me, you know, with the flaps and the lights and all. So that was your department. Correct. So everything what you see and hear, we did. So when I get into my 2020 Mercedes, there's a lot of linguatronic. You can talk with the car. Yes. This one, you don't talk with it. No, here you we don't talk. You interact with it. Yes, it's, it's, yeah, imagine once you talk with a car, it's more issue and command, you know? We want to reduce this uh, idea and say, hey, this uh, element is more like a skin of ourselves, like a digital membrane of ourselves which uh, um, influences us and can, can provide us an amplify experience to our outside world. We have a more dialogue-based system and um, of course machine learning already can do a lot of things, mm. but uh, we are trying to really that this living organism is starting approaching the human and not we as a human are approaching the machine, which is very different. Should we go connected. inside? Yes, let's do it. You want to sit in the... which way? I don't care. Both are fine. We can steer the car from both sides. True. I'll take the other one. Cool. You go in there. So what do we see? We see no steering wheel, we see no buttons, we see no touch screen, no paddles. No. But at the middle console, we see a device, we call it merge control. Mm -hmm. And what we see, it's pulsating. And once you want to connect with the machine, we put down our hand. What happens in my seat? and you, you feel the vibration in the seat of the exciters, you feel the heartbeat, it's my heartbeat now, and now we are connected to the system. So normally, you as a human, you approach the car. So you steer the steering wheel, you touch the screen, you issue a command, but uh, we did it very differently in the Vision AVTR. Mm -hmm. In the Vision AVTR, you lift your hand and icons are projected <gasps> onto your skin. I'm not touching the display anymore or pushing a button, no. but what I do is, I raise my hand, you can do the same thing on your side, and then I move left and right, and you see that icons are projected onto my skin, onto yes. my palm. So all your senses are triggered, not only the visual one, but also the haptic one and the acoustic one. And then let's go to Pandora. Yeah. Shall I close it? Yeah. And then we select the Benji maybe. Mm -hmm. And you see how this gets pinkish. And now you look through the eyes of this Benji, you feel the heartbeat, and you see what the Benji would see. In this sense, this experience that the car is really starting approaching you with the interface is very new and unique, and it hasn't been done before. Yeah, and then, you know, at the same time, make it look as luxury as this is. This is the future of luxury. I think you see how the extra, the interior design and the UX design here come together as a one cool art piece almost. When you as a department think of stuff like this, then of course everything you think of isn't possible. So you have to have a meeting with somebody in a technical department that actually tells you whether this is possible or not. Our engineers are very, uh, very creative people, very knowledgeable and only as a collaborative team, designers and the engineers, we can come up with these really functional prototypes and it's very important, it's functional, it's, mm -hmm. it's not Fact, it's really working. I don't quite understand all of it, but you did a good job. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Alex Dang. He's a designer at Mercedes-Benz, and he's actually the one who drew the lines for the Vision AVTR. Hi, Alex. Hi. So can you start by telling us how does a vision like this begins? It was an internal competition where everyone can show their vision, how they see the car could look like. And um, right from the beginning, we were all sitting together and watching the movie, basically in the cinema. And uh, while watching the movie, I did some scribbles and with, was thinking about how can I implement some shapes from the movie into the car. And then you actually won the competition? Yes, it was a long uh, process. Internally, it's a competition, but uh, in the end, it's like a team effort because you get some ideas and the other one gets some ideas and the designs keep getting better. Mm -hmm. So how long time did it take from you put the first line on a drawing until the design was ready? Um, it was like two years, I would say. Was it uh, difficult for you? Sometimes it comes natural and then sometimes it's a struggle, but you have to deal with it and uh, trust the process in a way. Because in the end, 
there will be something cool coming out. If, it's, if you feel too comfortable, then you're too much in your comfort zone, I would say. And uh, creativity is, I think, about getting out of the comfort zone, which doesn't always feel nice, but then you can create something new, something push, stunning. Push the limits. Push the limits, exactly. Mm. So you came up with the idea for the wheels? Yes, because I watched the movie and I saw the wood sprites and I thought, why not trying to implement those into our vision? What's, uh, what was the biggest challenge for you on the design of this car? I think the biggest challenge for me was to combine the best of both worlds, like this science fiction avatar world, into our reality and still make it recognizable as a Mercedes-Benz. Let's move to the back. Yeah. Because of these, uh, these flaps that makes the car come alive. What's the story with these? We have 33 flaps and the main functions are aerodynamics, communication and also the expression. Because the aerodynamics, the main idea to change a lot of surfaces, to change the aerodynamics in a way that you want to have it or you need it. Mm -hmm. And the second is um, the communication aspect. You're sitting in the car, driving it. Um, you can show, the first time, you can show your intentions to the outside, whether you're accelerating, yeah. you're braking, or you turn. Yeah. So everything will be manifested to the outside through the omnidirectional flaps. And the third is, because it's an artificial intelligence, it's like a living object, it also has emotions that can be expressed to the outside through the motion design. What do you think it drives like? I think it would drive like a, something that you've never been experiencing before. So crazy. Can you imagine waking up in my bed now like, oh, well, it's just a dream. Yeah. Dude, that was amazing. It really works. You drove your own car. That was nice. <laughs>